is Vanessa van Dijk and I'm a makeup artist and in today's video I'm going to talk about the Bourgeois Health Mix Foundation. Now I have to say right away that I've picked the wrong shade, this color is way too dark for me but I'm still going to like show you how it applies and also how you can fix it if you pick the wrong shade. Now I've been using it on its own when I went to the office so that I still can try it out for you guys as well and for me to have an opinion about the foundation and I'm also going to show you how you can mix and match a wrong shade with a different product if you want to have it a bit darker or a bit lighter. So what I was planning to show you today is one half of my face I'm going to use the foundation on its own so that you can see how it performs but it's the wrong shade and on the other side I'm going to show you how you can also mix and match your skin tone shade if you went with the wrong product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Bourjois Health Mix Foundation with the Bourjois CC Cream because this one is lighter. So I'm going to mix those two to find my shade. And so this way you didn't waste so much money on a product that you can't use because if you just purchased it, of course, you could return it if you still have the bill. If you don't have the bill, then just make sure that you have a lighter foundation CC cream, something that makes it lighter or the opposite, darker and then you can mix and match it. Now this way you haven't like wasted completely your money, but you still can use the product and enjoy the product. So what I'm going to do is when it comes to the mixing later on, I'm also going to use a mixing palette and I'm going to use this stick right here to mix it. You can also use a brush if you like to. But at first I would just would like to start off with the foundation itself. So make sure that if you're using the foundation that you're giving it a good shake and this is the shade Vanilla, which is too dark for me, and I'm just going to use a couple of pumps. And I'm just going to clip my hair back so that everything is out of my face. So the way I like to use the foundation is with a damp sponge. This is just my preference, you can also go with the brush. So as you can see, it's a bit too dark for me. It looks fine next to me, this is what I thought so when I bought it. But then when I've applied it, it was way too dark. Like, let's say, way too bronzy for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sponge, dampen it into the foundation, and I'm going to start with applying it. And this is where you can see that it's a bit too orange for me and also a bit too dark. Now I have to say, when it's about their shade range, they do not have a lot of shades. Like, you will find from light to dark, but, like, they do not have 40 different shades or whatsoever. So it's more like, if you have the right shade that they provide, then you're lucky. But when it comes to the foundation, it's definitely a very lightweight foundation and it also feels very moisturizing on the skin. So for me personally, as I have a combination skin, it works beautifully if I'm wearing it on its own. And it also will give me a little bit of a natural glow. So it's definitely not mattifying, which if you're oily, then I don't know if you prefer having a dewy like skin as you're getting dewy during the day. But you can also use setting powder later on top just to mattifying it a bit. So I'm just going to apply it on one half of my face and you can see how wrong the shade is. But the foundation itself blends beautifully. And for me personally, this has a light to medium coverage, which I do enjoy. I don't like heavy foundations. I just like something that will balance out my skin. And I'm just going to use the foundation on its own. So I'm not going to use any concealer whatsoever. I'm just going to keep the main focus on the foundation itself and a bit more on my forehead and nose area. So you can also use a brush with it. I just personally feel because it's a very lightweight foundation, you could also still use your fingers with it as it applies beautifully without a problem. So now one half of my face is done. So what I'm going to do is with the rest of the foundation that I still have on my palette, I'm going to mix it. So I'm going to add some CC cream on top of it as it is right here. And then I'm going to mix it with the stick. If you have a smaller foundation or you can also use your fingers, then you're good to go. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to mix it to have a lighter shade so that it's still suitable. And that's what I personally always like to do. Like if I can't find my true shade of a foundation, I always like to mix and match it. This is just the easiest way on how you can still deal with it, even though you spent your money on it. So this is basically how I like to mix it. 
and it will get lighter. Of course, if you're going to mix it with a different product, make sure that they like each other because some ingredients might do not like work beautifully together. But because this is the CC cream from Bourjois, I just think that it's the perfect combination on how you can mix it. And now I'm just going to use the same sponge and apply it on the other side. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And it's a bit lighter because I used the CC cream and mixed it within. Now if you have a bit of a darker product or foundation or lighter product, depends also on how the rest of your body looks like. You could also blend it towards your chest area. It just depends on if you like to use it on the chest area or not. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to do the same and blend it into the skin and also forehead. And I just had a quick look at the mirror and to be honest it might be that you can't really see a major difference but trust me in real life you will see the major difference because i'm in front of a ring light which does like gives me the light evenly around my face and it just hides the shadowy areas but if you're in natural lighting you will see that there is a huge difference and that one side is way darker than the other side like, I mean, if it's about the foundation in general, it will give a beautiful finish. I like how it blends, I like how it feels on the skin, and it just will last me all day long. Of course, I just would add concealer and um, concealer and powder on top, and then I'm good to go. But this is just personally how I like to cope with problematic areas as if I'm going with the wrong shade, because you can't always see 100% how it's looking like until you're getting into the real lightning because this is where people will see you and also where you will be most of the time. This is one side, only the foundation on its own. The other side, I've mixed it. I personally can see a difference. I hope that you can see it as well. For me personally, it works beautifully with the CC cream. So when I'm mixing it, so it's not a waste of a product and also a waste of money. Now I just had a quick look at the viewfinder and you can't really tell a difference except for my forehead area. This is where you should see a darker part and a lighter part. And this is what I'm talking about. That if you're going into natural lighting, you will see the difference. Now, because of the ring light, you won't be able to see it as much or as strong as I personally see it myself. Um, so this is how you can work with a foundation that's a shade too dark or too light. So you can mix and match it. Just make sure that the foundations do like each other before you're going to apply it on your face and just walk out of the door and you don't have to worry about it. Now, all in all, when it comes to the foundation itself, how it performs, if I like it or if I not like it, I personally have to say that it blends beautifully. It gives me a natural glow and it won't like dry completely on its own, which I do enjoy because sometimes it can be due to drying. But I would say if you have an oily skin, just make sure that you're using powder to the main oily parts before you're leaving the house or have some powder with you. Because I can imagine that with your oil and because it's dewy, it just will show off even quicker with your oily skin types. But if you have normal to dry or combination skin, then you are good to go with it. Because for me personally, I have drier parts right here and combination in my t-zone like the oilier parts and both work really well together so for me all in all i just can't say that i like the foundation and i definitely would like i'm still going to continue using it as i'm just going to mix it with the cc cream and that's it um, it just will give me from a light to a medium coverage depending on how much you're using and it's also buildable of course, if you have like breakouts as I do right here, it won't cover them up completely, but this is where you can just use a bit of concealer and you just can like hide the redness a bit more. But that's it. And for me personally, for an everyday use, this is enough coverage that you want. This is also enough like foundation product on your skin that you need. So you don't need a full coverage foundation for an everyday makeup. And this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that you do enjoy the video and also the little tip that I gave you with mixing it if you went with the wrong shade. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!